In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a cake comb to create a pretty finish on the side of a cake. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Start by frosting a crumb coated cake. The link to my crumb coating tutorial is at the end of the video for you if you need to watch that first. The buttercream in this video is my favorite Italian meringue buttercream and I will link to that as well. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to make IMBC. So you want to put your frosting on quite thick. I start at the top and work my way down. Using a light touch when applying and an up and down motion is very helpful when first applying the buttercream and making sure to cover it with an even thickness. At this stage, you are just covering your cake, not concerning yourself with making it look pretty just yet. A bench scraper is a great tool for evening out the sides of the cake. Just give it a little smoothing before using your comb. You can use a spatula for this if you don't have a bench scraper. There are various combs on the market. This one is the Wilton and it has three sides. I'll show you the pattern for each of these and then I'll go over how to hold it and how much pressure to use. This is the medium pattern. This is the larger pattern, which I really like. And this is the one that will finish the cake. It's the smaller lined pattern. Hold the comb at about a 45 degree angle like this, not at a 90 like this. If you hold it at the 90, you're more likely to scrape off too much of the buttercream. As you turn the cake, press gently onto the surface of the cake with the comb. Keep turning as you release the pressure and pull the comb away at the end. This will help to hide the spot where you end. Trim the top using your spatula, removing the excess buttercream a little at a time as you turn the cake. There are several ways to top off a cake depending on your design. This cake will have fresh flowers on top. I'm going to give it a little bit of a combing just to match the rest of the cake. Here is the 12 inch cake already doweled. A quick easy border with a shell tip and the cake is finished and ready to be delivered. Stay tuned for more cake combing tutorials. There's so many different ways to use the cake comb and I just touched on it today. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Do you have a lot of questions about buttercream? I have a little book for you. It's called My Top 5 Buttercream Recipes and it's right below the video here. You can click on the link. Go sign up for my newsletter and you'll get a free copy instantly.